Hi guys, I'm really excited to announce we've just launched our official and keeping shop at AntsAustralia.com. Our mission? To make ant keeping a highly accessible and affordable hobby for everyone whilst producing the highest quality of products. It's been a long time in the making for us here at Ants Australia, but after extensive prototyping and testing, we're really quite happy with the results and we really think you'll be too. So what we've come up with is a range of Waitong nests, which as you can see, come painted in beautiful, vibrant colors, including blue, green, purple, and red. We also have six different sizes to choose from. From our smallest model, perfect for raising a young colony or a small species, or even just a single queen, to our largest model, capable of housing massive colonies, thousands of ants strong. Plus with our custom order option, you'll be able to request your own chamber depth to perfectly match whichever species you intend on raising. From the minute, to the monstrous. There's really something here to suit everybody's ants needs. So let's put some of our nests to use, shall we? Here we have a few different colonies of mine, some sugar ants, and some jumping jacks. Currently they're housed in what I like to call a tubs and tubes setup, which is comprised simply of a test tube acting as their nesting area, inside of a container acting as their foraging area, also known as an outworld. We'll be offering outworlds on our shop very soon. However, these are something very easily made on your own. If you need some guidance, I've made a tutorial on how to set one up here. So once your outworld is ready, it's just a matter of attaching up one of our nests by the way of some vinyl tubing, a short segment of which comes provided with all of our nests. All you'll need to decide is which size to go for. Ants don't need a lot of space for nesting. Often, if they have too much, they'll dump their garbage in unhabited parts of the nest instead of their outworld. Given the humid conditions within the nesting area, this can then quickly lead to harmful mold growth. So you really need a nest which matches the size of your colony. If anything, it's better if your ants are cramped in a clean nest than spacious in a dirty one. So in my case, for these two sugar ant colonies here, I've decided on our smallest size, a size one. And for the jumping jacks here, a size three. To entice the ants to move in, what you'll want to do is first hydrate the nest. Position directly above the sponges are little holes for injecting water. Something like a syringe is perfect for the job. Initially, you want to give it a good soak as the Waitong will be bone dry. Try and make it so half the nest ends up damp and half dry. This creates a moisture gradient throughout the nest, allowing the ants to pick their preferred levels of humidity. To achieve this effect, it helps if you inject the water in slowly allowing time for it to absorb in and prevent any runoff. This process is made a little easier with our larger nests, as they have two separate hydration sections, one on either side. So simply hydrate one side or the other. It's also a good idea to alternate between each side. So the next time you hydrate, fill up the opposite side. This will greatly reduce the chance of mold growth, as all parts of the nest will get a chance to dry out. Once the nest has been hydrated, Keep it nice and dark by covering it up with something. Now, it's just a matter of waiting. Sometimes the ants will discover the nest and move in straight away. And other times they might take days, even weeks. As I often say, ant keeping requires a good deal of patience and experimenting. Some ants prefer a relatively dry nest, whereas others prefer a saturated one. So if they don't seem interested at first, play around with the humidity. Through trial and error, I've learned that these sugar ants here prefer a dry nest. So I've only been adding in a little bit of water once every four to five days, and that seems to keep them happy. Once they've moved in, you can now enjoy viewing their activity all through our high clarity acrylic. The bright white color of the Waitong also does a nice job at bouncing the light, thus illuminating the ants and allowing you to see an incredible amount of detail. It's very easy to lose hours staring away.
even after they've moved, it's a good idea to leave some sort of water reservoir, like a test tube setup, within their outworld. That way they have a fresh source of water to drink from at all times. If you're going with one of our larger nets with two entrance holes, our standard size tubing fits up perfectly with our 16mm test tubes, so you can easily attach a test tube straight up to your nest, like so. This not only gives the ants a place to drink from, but also ups the humidity within their nest. So it's especially useful if you are going away for a week or two and won't be around to hydrate the nest manually. So aside from the vibrant colours and sleek design, what makes our Waitong nests so great for raising ants? Well, let's run you through how we make them. We start with the primary ingredient, the Waitong. Waitong is a strong, versatile, high performance building product made from autoclaved aerated concrete. It's been quite a popular medium within the ant keeping scene for quite some time now, but it's always had its drawbacks. Firstly, the Waitong's extreme evaporative nature results in the need to constantly hydrate it in order to maintain optimal humidity levels. Secondly, it often requires a bulky and heavy structure in order to maintain its strength, making it hard to shape consistently and post affordably. However, we've overcome all of these problems and added significant improvements to the use of this material. So how do we do it? Well, first we machine down the Waitong blocks into 30mm slabs. To these slabs, we then laminate a high quality marine grade plywood using the world's strongest and safest epoxy. This epoxy then soaks up into the Waitong, performing two main roles. Firstly, it significantly strengthens the material, making it far more durable and so can easily be machined further, additionally making the final product much lighter and compact. And secondly, it seals the entire base, essentially waterproofing the Waitong, thus limiting the rapid evaporative nature of the material and preventing ingress liquids from external sources. Once prepared into composite slabs, we then head over to the CNC machines. Here, the nest interior, hydration spaces, and rebates for the lid are precisely carved out. Once fully machined, using our state-of-the-art equipment, the nests are then individually hand-finished and checked for defects. Although this does consume a fair bit of time per unit, we believe that it's important to give each nest a practical and durable finish. After the final hand finishing, the sealing and painting happens. The nest receives two coats of durable, non-toxic paint, which is based on recycled sugarcane. This specialized paint coating is done in such a way that only 90% of the Waitong is sealed, so the nest can still breathe as they would naturally. Through extensive testing, this paint, in conjunction with the plywood base and absorbed in epoxy, we've achieved optimal evaporation rates, making it easy to regulate the humidity levels and emulate the natural nesting conditions of your ants. Finally, after the paint has had a couple of days to fully cure, antibacterial sponges are installed and our acrylic lids fitted. The lids are made of high clarity 4mm acrylic, which we drill some holes in for hydration and for the four small screws which securely fixes the lids in place. Using screws over glue means that once the colony moves out, the lids can easily be removed and the nest can be cleaned and reused. As Waitong can be quite brittle at times, you'll just need to be a little gentle when screwing the lids back on. The screws don't need to be in super tight. So as you can tell, each aspect of our design has been carefully considered and developed with both the occupants and you as the caretaker in mind striking the perfect balance between aesthetics and practicality. Here at Ants Australia, we really love contributing to the unique and fascinating hobby that is ant keeping. We're pleased to be able to do this not only by creating helpful and insightful videos here on YouTube, but now additionally with our high-end ant keeping shop. For those crafty people out there, don't worry, we'll still be continuing on with our How to Build an Ant Nest series, working with Waitong next followed by naturalistic dirt setups. Also very keen to continue on with the ant documentary series, which you guys really seem to enjoy. As of posting this video, I'll be heading over to the other side of the globe, over in North America, so perhaps I could feature some of the native ants there. I was thinking of possibly covering the genus Formica, commonly known as wood ants or mound ants. They're quite common over there, but unseen here in Australia. 
but I'm open to suggestions, so leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed.